It's time for bed, Dee Dee. Go hop in bed. I'll be right in to tuck you in. Good night, Daddy. What are you doing here? My mommy's coming. You better hide or she's gonna catch you. Okay, sweetie, night, night. What are you looking at? I don't think she can see you. Now promise me you'll be a good girl while I'm out singing. I promise. No sneaking out this time. I'll get in trouble. I promise. That's my good girl. Mommy, is Daddy ever coming back? I don't know, honey. Maybe someday when he's ready. But don't you worry, Mommy always comes back. I'll be home before you even wake up. Get some nice sleep. Okay, she's gone. She's gonna sing at the ghost note tonight. It's the most beautiful cabaret. Come on, we'll miss our show. Oh no, somebody moved the ash cart. Look, I know. You could go down there and move the ash cart and I could jump down. I'll play here. So you can go over there and be a shadow person. Wow, I wish I could do that. Could you teach me how to do that? Okay, now move the ash cart to where I can jump into it. I wonder who moved it. Do you think it was Mommy? She got really mad at me the last time I snuck out. Where did you go for so long? I haven't seen you in three weeks. I really wish you had been at my birthday. Daddy missed my birthday. Now we go this way. Follow me. Oh, I think you're too big. <laughs> all the way through to the other street. If I move this car, you could walk up the shadow, couldn't you? the dancers. They were so beautiful. I want to 
want to be a dancer when I grow up. Or an acrobat, like you. Did you always want to be an acrobat? Come on, let's go in. Want to put on some lights? I promise you'll like the view. Come on, sugar. Help a girl out here. We can't play in the dark. Hey, one's on the fritz. Hey, Sparky, could you do something about that one, too? It's really messing with our rhythm. Charlie, would you? Johnny, we had an agreement. Is that what you call it? I never wanted to leave. You kicked me out. You want money from me, Johnny? Because I'm ducking the landlord. I don't need a handout, babe. Look at this suit. You work in another one of your famous deals? This one's big, cat. Oh, sure it is. Till it blows up like last time and the time before Not that. Not this time, babe. I'm going to make it all up to you. I got to get back on stage. Then meet me after. I'm staying at the Excelsior. But you think you're just going to jitterbug your way back into our lives with a lot of sweet talk? It's going to be better this time, babe. You're going to see how much better it can be. Room 529, kiddo. Where is he going? I need to talk to him.
He just went through the gate. I bet he's going to the bar. Mommy said Daddy left us, but that's not true, is it? She kicked him out. It won't open. But you could break it open. You're pretty strong. Come on, it's this way. That's the amazing Vincenzo. He's a world famous illusionist. What's Daddy doing with him? Come on, Vincenzo. It's just some film footage of your act. Why can't you let me borrow it just overnight? Because it is my new act and it's top secret, which is why my agent has it safely locked in his office upstairs. I just want to show it to my investors. They want to get to know you better. Mr. Fenris, I have performed my illusion act for the King of England and the Emperor of Japan. There are untouchables in India who tell stories of the amazing Vincenzo. If your investors don't know me, they're not in show business. You think I can't pay you? Look at this suit. I'm staying at the Excelsior Hotel. I've asked around about you, Mr. Fenris. People tell me not to trust you. And I've asked around about you, Mr. Amazing. You're not as flush as you look. You've got a few debts. Which is why I think you'll perform at the opening night of my circus. You dare accuse me Look, of... I made a beautiful poster. Now I just need to borrow your film reel. Until I see some earnest money from you, I'm damned if I will lend you the time of day. All right. I'll get you a check. Cash. Cash, don't worry. I'll call you tomorrow. It's been such a pleasure meeting with you. Thanks for the drink.
goodness, it was such a big jump. Oh, it's locked. Oh wait, think I can just, I told you I was good at fixing things. Maybe you could find another way in. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be out this late. Where's your mom? Did mommy really kick you out? Were you spying on us at the cabaret? Are you coming home? <laughs> That's my plan. I've got to convince your mother. Is she here? No, I snuck out. <laughs> oh boy, you're growing up fast. You used to be scared of the dark. But did she really kick you out? Well, yeah, kind of. At the time, I wasn't being very good to her, so I guess I had it coming. I missed you so much. <sighs> I missed you too, honey. But I'm gonna come back home. I'm putting together a circus, see? It's gonna pay for everything. And you know who it's gonna star? The amazing Vincenzo. <laughs> How much snooping around have you been doing? Yeah, it's gonna star the amazing Vincenzo. He's good, huh? Look, you're really not supposed to be out this late. I'm I'm gonna take you home. I brought you the mail. Shh, shh, shh. But shh. Uh, I got a couple of investors coming here, and they don't like kids much. I need you to run home by yourself, okay? But I brought you... Didi, you have to get out of here. I won't tell Mom you snuck out. Okay, go. Hey, Carmine, Silvio. He doesn't have the money to show them. His name is Salvio, so why are we here? Salvio, yeah, what did I say? I got great news. Vincenzo is in. You have to show them the money. You got him? You're sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's gonna play opening night really bring in the crowds. So that's why you brought us here, huh? You're gonna show us his act? Yeah, 
Yeah, except uh, the projector's broken. Because if you don't got them, your circus is going to flop, and you're not going to be able to pay us back. And then I'm going to have to break your arms, and then we'll see how well you swim. Look, I'm going to need just a little more money to uh, finalize things with Vincenzo. Are you kidding me? What'd you spend that money on, that suit? Listen, it's all going to come back to you. Oh! Show them the movie. Show them the movie. <laughs> You broke my finger! Oh! Hey, knock it off, Sal. Check this out. Jeez, he is amazing. I told you I got him. Okay, let's go get your money. Thanks a bunch. Look, why don't I swing by tomorrow and pick it up? Relax. Let's go have a drink, huh? I know a guy who'll fix that finger right I, up. I can't. I gotta go meet someone. Boy, you're in a hurry, huh? She must be a real ripe tomato. <laughs> you want to go meet Johnny's tomato, Sal? I like a ripe tomato. That tomato's my wife. Always wanted to meet the wife. Huh? We'll play canasta. Just the four of us. Hmm? Okay, but he's not asking, Johnny. He's telling. That kind of hurt my mom. She was getting pretty loud in there. See? You meet a guy's wife, now he's got a whole new reason to make good. How come you know so much? Cause my ma used to smack me every time I didn't know. I should try that with my kids.
Maybe you could sneak in through a window or something. And then you could let me in. Why'd you have to come back, Johnny? I want to come home, Cat. And you got another pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Ah, it's the past, Cat. I've changed. Oh, yeah? You get religion? I got lonely. I miss you, baby. I'm never gonna give you another reason to kick me out, I swear. Never's a big word. Feels like I heard it before. This time you're gonna be nothing but proud of me. Look at this hotel suite. I got investors. The ones who just left? Yeah, I'm real proud. They're the ones who broke your finger? This? It's nothing. I got a cot in a desk drawer. In a door. A car door. Remember the horse doctor you were gonna fix races with? That was wrong, Cat. I know that. And the bar we bought, where your friends didn't have to pay and everyone was your friend. Well, you gotta cultivate your clients. And the strip joint where you got too close to the help? Now, there you're wrong, Cat. I sh You don't believe a word you're saying. I know, because I can read your mind like a highway sign. No, Johnny. Not again. You're a carousel of broken dreams. You keep coming around and around. No one is ever going to love you like I do, kiddo. Get back. Don't try and kiss me, Johnny. I'll lose my mind. You going to shoot me? Ah, go ahead and shoot. I got two holes in me where you and Dee Dee used to be. Put another one in there. Finish me off. What do you want with Dee Dee? You're not even a real father. What, you think Vincenzo's real? All he ever gave Dee Dee was her cute little nose. Yeah, maybe I'm not her real father, but I'm the one that showed her how to tie her shoes. I'm the one that put her to bed when you had to stay out late. You took her to see his show. Did he change his mind? He doesn't want to be her father. He doesn't want to be anybody. I else. hate you. Jesus, Cal, what are you doing? Mommy, stop. What are you doing? No nothing. Mommy and Daddy were having a little fight. It's not a real gun. It's just a toy. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a toy, Didi. Mommy. Are you gonna let Daddy come home? Daddy. Please, please let Daddy come home. He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good without my family. Maybe I need my family to make good. Johnny. Yeah, Daddy needs us. If this is another train wreck, it's not just gonna be you and the train this time. I'm not gonna let it wreck this time. I promise. I've missed you so much. Yay! Daddy's coming home! But he's not my real daddy, is he? <laughs>